but uh, the first one's the best one. <laughs> and uh, I always liked their James Bond theme. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm not like. They put it in the James fan. Bond movie. Yeah, they made uh, the theme song for uh, "The World Is Not Enough," and I always thought that was a cool song. Really? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> like I was. Oh, I, I, I forgot. Whoa! What the fuck is that? The fuck is over here? Did you make the? Oh, is that it? Oh, wait a minute! Stop! 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 I see your stream. Stop. What is that? That's something I made. You're right behind me. You're right next to me. Uh, you though. Oh, I think you ran past I'm me. But there's a road out here. This, you're not by this base. But if I follow the road the other way, will it lead to you? Yeah, I see you. I see you on my screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> that actually didn't take too long. Yeah. I thought so, I might have gotten lost. Maybe. I had to build a structure to, like, get us across that massive river and up that huge mountain over there. And uh, I was working on this, the path to the ice, JJ Icefish place uh, in the other direction. This path does connect all the way back to that nether portal that brought me out here in the first place <laughs> yeah oh it's, shit that's right oh man it's, it's pretty it's pretty fucking far also uh pork chop here if you want I we can, can put follow this it. map of our house in the in the jan terry uh, base <laughs> god damn i developed it a little bit uh in the other direction <clears throat> like, uh, up here, oh, shit, it's getting dark. Up here is where, uh, yeah. the, the ice fit. For a minute. <laughs> God, that's hot. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, but I was telling you about that, uh, movie, The Island of Dr. Moreau. I watched it when I was 16, and I thought it was fucking awful when I watched it back then, and, uh, it's, like, famously bad, like, Battlefield Earth kind of bad. Uh, and, you know, Marlon Brando has always been, like, a really difficult, obnoxious actor. And Val Kilmer is also a difficult, obnoxious actor, except he's, like, <laughs> except he's much worse. <laughs> Val Kilmer is such a piece of shit. Uh, oh, hi, uh, Bon Zoe. <laughs> How's it he was going? He in Top Gun. Yeah, he was. Uh... Like so, so last night I watched this documentary called Lost Souls. It was about why that movie was such a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> it was really fascinating. Uh, the movie was like developed by this guy named Richard Stanley, um, and he he was like the guy who was growing it. He he was he was behind everything. But then uh, New Line Cinema eventually just fired him and took the whole project away from, him, which was shitty. And they forced it on John Frankenheimer. Uh, oh, fucking monsters. You have two beds right here. Paul Blart, best act, or LMAO. <laughs> First movie. Um, and have it, like, give it a Star Wars theme also. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, like, a hunt, like, a good $200 million spent on Paul Blart. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was responding to this guy's comment in the, in the channel. <laughs> oh. So, uh, oh cool, I have shitty zombie flesh, that's hot. So yeah, this is as far as I've gotten the path. Uh, I need to build a staircase up this, this thing here. Oh shit. So, Where you at? I'm, uh, below you. <laughs> yeah, I need to build a staircase. Oh, over here. Oh, uh, on your I see right. a creeper. Ooh. I try to hit him with an egg. <laughs> I got <laughs> <You> him. Hit him. <laughs> Let's see, this person is saying, to be honest, you should kidnap villagers, make one a librarian, and keep on getting, keep on making them until you get a mending book. Huh? How do you? What's the easy? What's the best way to kidnap a villager? Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even know that was pop, uh, possible. Oh, there's an egg creeper. 
I've heard I've heard that concept before, but I don't know how to do it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I've never I've never actually heard of that. Um, that'd be pretty cool though if we could just force a villager to live in our compound forever. <laughs> in a I hole. think you can breed them. Yeah. <laughs> With a bed or something, I don't know. If you put a boat or cart, they go into the boat or cart, um, and they sit, and you can push it. Oh, you can push them into a trap, like a place to just keep them So we could keep them go to a town. Oh, shit. And then we got the Fletcher table, which is actually what we need to make them. Meow. And then we can trade them tons of sticks for, like, millions of emeralds. <laughs> yeah. Two people can sit in a boat. Yeah. Sometimes two people in a panda, or uh, not two people, one person in a panda. Put this flesh away. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a creeper? No, a uh, bush. I th or this bush, I think. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here, let's let's go down here. <laughs> No, so, JJ Ice Fish. <laughs> yeah, JJ Ice Fish. Oh, baby. Oh, man. There we go. So, yeah, I'll build a staircase here eventually uh, when we come back. But, uh, so, yeah, this is a long journey. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, but, uh, so so I watched the documentary about the, the island of Dr. Moreau, the 96 adaptation. Uh and uh, the first half focused on how Richard Stanley, the original director, was screwed over. He was the guy who did Hardware, which is a really cool sci-fi horror movie. Um, and uh, keep in mind, The Island of Dr. Moreau was intended to be sci-fi horror. It was intended to be a serious film. Um, but uh, when, they, uh, when they got Val Kilmer, uh, Val Kilmer pretty much started to ruin it. And then a hurricane came and and uh, helped ruin it also. And Richard Stanley was used to doing independent movies with small crews, but uh, this was like a $35 million budget film, which was like big back in the mid-90s. Um, so he got fired by New Line Cinema, and they hired John Frankenheimer, who's a huge asshole. And he's done some okay <laughs> movies, but he is a prick. Um, so, Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer are both really horrible to work with. Although, Marlon Brando <laughs> is a little bit more respectful. Yeah, this platform, yeah. Val Kilmer is just a huge asshole. So, they started telling all these stories about, like, the adventures of Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer, who hated each other, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> That should be the name of a show. The Adventures yeah. of Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer, who hated each other. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here's uh, Jan Terry. I developed the area a little bit. Made a little farm I'm gonna here. I'm going to put this picture on the wall. Hell yeah. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, I'm in an SMP playing with 20 friends, and we just held elections for next leader of the server, and I'm winning 9 to 6. Well, that's cool. That's a lot of Well, people. if you lose, <laughs> I mean, you should just tell them to stop counting now if I were you. Yeah. <laughs> I Just wouldn't right risk now. it. <laughs> I like this so, structure, by this... the way. My farming structure. And I'd also tell them that, you know, if you do lose, it's definitely rigged. Yeah. Gah! Oh. I uh -oh. think that's all I needed. <laughs> Gah! I'm going to get the rest of this one. No, no, uh... No, no, elections go on until tomorrow, just in case if people get on. Okay, that's a lot of people. I don't know, sounds pretty unfair. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh. Yeah, there were no trees up here before. Did you actually see the trees on top of J uh, the JJ Icefish house? Yeah. <laughs> I was we, should, um, we should put a pond on top or something, you know? <laughs> That'd be hot. But, uh... Oh, shit. Do you have any leather? Yes. Um, so... Yes. Oh, yeah, I've and been putting... Can I get another thing of wood from you real quick? Sorry, I actually did need one more thing. Yeah, I've got 
I'm, I just knocked down this tree. Hold on. Oops. Let's see which button was it. Yeah. And okay, got all the saplings. Yeah, get down, goblin. So Val Kilmer was such a huge piece of shit, uh, <laughs> which he's notorious for being like throughout his whole fucking career. So '96, Val Kilmer was super huge. He had just done uh, Batman Forever. <laughs> and uh, he made it a like when he joined, Richard Stanley rolled his eyes and was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> he had nightmares about Val Kilmer because he was already known for being a huge, ridiculous piece of shit even then in '96, '95, '96. So uh, they uh, uh, he so after Richard Stanley was fired, uh. Val Kilmer starts walking up to every extra, every single little fucking extra he could see, and telling all of them, hey, uh, you've been doing a good job, but uh, if it came down to you or me, it's going to be me. Like, he just, <laughs> or, one guy extras. said, extras. Yeah. He t <laughs> like, one guy was just saying, that was, those were his exact words. He was basically saying, if, if one of us is going to get fucked over, it's going to be you, because I'm better. Like, that's what he was telling all of them. That, I'm a better. I'm better than you. Look at me. I'm. I'm the Val Kilmer. You're. You're nothing. <laughs> God. So yeah, let's. Let's. <laughs> here, let's march on. I, I. I'm really proud of this structure behind this house. Did uh, you are... see the uh, painting I put in here? Yeah, our base. Oh, this. Like, yeah. Whatever that is. <laughs> huh. Yosh. Clearly see. a minion, like. I think it's or uh, Rob Schneider taking a shit. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, next to a minion. Yeah. See, the sun's about to go down. Hmm. Should we just wait here for a bit? Oh, I never finished. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, if it's not too far. This is a farm, by the way. I was trying to make it so that every single property would be, like, self-sustaining, and uh, I always left a bunch of resources just in case we're ever lost out here. Fun fact, Germany was born in Austria-Hungary. <laughs> well, that's hot. That's a hot fun fact. I mean, Hitler was born Maybe in Austria-Hungary. Oh, Hitler was born in Austria. Yeah. <laughs> he was also a soldier was spared um, an execution uh, by a British officer. Yeah! <laughs> that worked out well. Gah! <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Right, so the sun's almost down. So, uh, Val Kimmer was doing that, and then he just walked away from that guy, uh, that extra, and he did this to multiple people, apparently. There's so many stories about him being such a huge asshole, like, so insecure... The guy was like a millionaire, had been in so many successful movies, and then he was walking around doing shit like that, which is so ridiculous. Uh, and then him and Marlon Brando hated each other, so uh, they hardly talked to each other. And the only <laughs> known conversation they had was uh, like direct conversation in the same room was during a scene with where they're sitting there with Fru Fruza Balk and uh, the other main cast. And uh, Val Kilmer says to Marlon Brando, so uh, have you been, been to the coral reefs? Because the movie was filmed in northern Australia, far away from Sydney. They were like right there on the ocean. And uh, Marlon Brando says, coral reefs? <laughs> I own fucking coral reefs. I have coral reefs coming out of my ass. <laughs> and uh, like <laughs> every single day, every single day, the, uh... oh, the other side, come to this side. Over here. Yeah, I'm really proud of this. This took forever to make, by the way. Oh my oh, god, nice. I just, it just, it's not broadcasting again. What the fuck? I got 15 minutes in, like, I'm not running anything. My computer's off. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart again. Ugh.